Dr. Sister M. Rashmi A.C., Patna Women's College, our Vice Principal, Dr. Sister M. Tanisha A.C., Patna Women's College, Deans, Sisters and Teachers, and a special welcome to our Jury Members, Professor Shefali Roy, Director, Public Administration, Patna University, Patna, Dr. Shaliza Sinha, Head, Department of Sanskrit, Ramkrishna Dwarika College, Patliputra University, Patna, Mr. Alok John, Dean, National International Collaborations and Consultancy Services, Patna Women's College, Autonomous, Patna University. Thank you so, so much everyone for embracing the occasion of today's Miss Patna Women's College Contest 2022. I also welcome our participants, students and everyone present here. I, Mariam Fatima, and I, Tanishka Verma, welcome you all to the much awaited program of Patna Women's College, the College Day Virasat, rooted in the life, vision, and teachings of Jesus Christ, and inspired by Mother Veronica, the foundress of the Apostolic Carmel, 
Patna Women's College strives to become a center of academic excellence in higher education, social responsibility and empowerment of women. The college is committed to the holistic development of women so as to make an effective contribution to the creation of a better society. As rightly said by Dr. E.P.J. Abdul Kalam, God, our creator, has stored within our minds and personalities create potential, strength and ability. Prayer helps us to develop these powers. Well, it is our culture to invoke the presence of the Almighty before we start anything. So let us begin this program by seeking the presence and the blessings of the divine power on all of us through a prayer dance.
so much girls for mesmerizing with us with a beautiful welcome song may i now request our honorable principal dr sister m rashmi ac to share with us her precious words of wisdom please sister a very good morning to all of you staff and students i can see the voice of the teachers more than the students anyway today is not the day that i can expect anything more than that so wish you all a very happy and enjoyable college day first of all i would like to acknowledge the presence of two of our own special alumni professor shafali roy and dr shailja sinha who have been part of pwc family as students and as teachers we are extremely happy to have you with us today we are indeed grateful to all the judges all three of you for we know that you are going to do the most difficult task today by choosing miss pwc from among the beautiful ladies that we see around uh before i go ahead i would like to thank all the students who have participated uh, or participating in the short program today thank you students for your generosity today is not the day to come on the stage to perform something you also would have liked to dress up like the others let us give them all a big hand you have seen some of them have already performed on the stage and some are yet to perform my special thanks to miss inakshi who has trained them and uh, miss samiksha and all the student council for all the support and guidance and all the arrangements that they have made for you all today and coming to this day today dear students i know you are not at all in a mood to listen to me as the environment is totally different from the other days the campus is really colorful and there is lot of excitement joy laughter uh, that seem to be contagious as you seem to have lot to share among yourselves you are not paying attention to me you are talking among yourselves so there is something that you have lot to share share among yourselves it's all right i as a principal i come to the stage to say something to you so we are happy that you are bubbling with energy and joy today and excitement but remember one thing patna women's college is beyond an institution it actually denotes certain culture culture of excellence culture of discipline empowerment and enrichment it is not only a college it is also a brand it is unique in every field be it study sports or cultural events discipline is in the air of its environment please remember discipline is in the air of its environment so in all your merry making and enjoyment remember to conduct yourselves in a worthy manner in your demeanor and discipline a very happy college day to all of you all the best to all the participants for miss pwc contest just a reminder students you will wear your i card as long as you are in the campus all of you please please pay attention i think those who are standing outside can't hear me however we had sent the notice except and also i had announced earlier please wear your i card as long as you are in the campus and also you are requested to move out of the campus by 2:30 pm remember by 2:30 pm you will be out of the campus thank you thank you so much sister for your exquisite words maria 
Don't you think we have such amazing lighting and decoration which adds to the ambience of Vilasa 2022? Well, I do think so, Dee. And for this wonderful decoration and lighting, a huge shout out to our sponsors. It's time to express our gratitude towards our sponsors. Our sponsors in the academic fields are Millennium Aviation Academy, Mind Sculptors IAS, and Chanakya IAS Academy. Food and beverages sponsors Dry and Fry, Madras Dosa House, Wafcha, Roshan's Cafe, and Bistro 57. Our commercial partner Riddhi Siddhi, DJ, our entertainment partner Bihar Electrical, and the Bank of Baroda. Now, let us proceed to the most awaited event of the day, Miss Patna Women's College Contest 2022. Every year, Patna Women's College organizes the Miss PWC Contest. Tanishka Di, don't you think, who according to you is an ideal Miss PWC? A true PWC is the one who follows the motto of the college and be always wise have unparalleled faith in God and have social responsibility towards the empowerment of the marginalized and should possess the pursuit of excellence. With this saying, let's proceed to round one of the Miss Patna Women's College Contest 2022. So we have 30 contestants in total. So brace yourselves, it's time for round one. I request all the contestants to come up on the stage one by one for the rap war. All the very best to all the participants.
the results of the first round is being announced, we present to you a classical dance. India has thousands of year old tradition of fine arts and classical folk music and dances. All of them have a common language of expression and were originally performed in temples to entertain various gods and goddesses. And with time, the classical dances evolved to include the expressions and themes from social life and experiences. I now invite the dancers to come up on stage and present their artistic moves before the audience. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
and surely God has painted in the colours of Rajasthani folk. Since we have time till the results are declared of round one, we let's enjoy a musical performance by Anshika. Let's welcome her. Which they'll be reading out whatever they have written. 
So care of their participants, wishing you all good luck. Candidates who are selected for round two, code number one. Code number one, please come up on stage. Code number three. Code number three, please come up on stage. Code number eight. Code number eight. Code number eleven. Code number eleven. Code number fifteen. Code number thirteen. Number twenty seven and code number twenty eight. Congratulations. Now we'll be starting with round two. I request the anchors to uh, brief the, uh, the rules and regulations again. Congratulations to all those selected in round two. In this round, all the participants will be given two A4 size sheets with carbon copy in between. On that sheet, there will be an incomplete sentence which the contestants have to complete, after which they'll be reading out whatever they have written. So get up there participants. I wish you all good luck. Participants, you'll be getting, uh, after we distribute to uh, all of you, you'll be getting only two minutes, okay? And you're not supposed to say anything extra. Whatever you have written, you have to, if, if it is incomplete, you have to say the incomplete sentence. Understood? Again, I'm telling you, you have given, uh, you have got an incomplete sentence which you have to complete. You'll be getting only two minutes. Now, your time starts now. Please stop writing. Please stop. Please. Okay. Now I'll be collecting the original one and the, uh, the, uh, the this carbon copy you have to read. Okay. Exact what you have, you have written you have to speak. Okay. Code number one. Please for come forward. Yes. Good morning, the everybody. question is, the incomplete question is, humanity is dash. The question is, humanity is dash. Good morning, everyone. My humanity, humanity is not only a humanity. Humanity is not only means being human. Humanity means being humble, sweet, grateful towards nature, animal, and human also. As a human being, we respect everyone. Okay. Thank you. Code number three. Come forward. Morning to one and all present. Humanity is something that must be present in us from our birth. There is a quote that says, 
do good to others and it will come back to you unexpectedly. Do not help others expecting something in return. Thank you. Call number eight. Very, ple very pleasant morning to everyone present here. Humanity is the essence of life. In the world that we live in, humanity is a much needed bliss. We never know what the person in front of us is going through. Thus, it's important for us to be kind, gentle, considerate towards one another. Thank you. Code 11. Good morning, everyone. Humanity is being a human. There are a lot of persons who live for oneself, but the one who live for others is called a human. You should show humanity or sense of pityness to others, to animals. Humanity is to help others, help them when they are. Thank you. Code 15. Greetings to all. Humanity is love, which one possess inside them, which leads to love, support and brotherhood in society, community or within a group of people. It is a core value which one should indulge in themselves for a better life. Thank you. Code 13. Good morning to everyone. For me, humanity is something that comes from the heart of the person. It is one of the characteristics a person needs to build either towards younger or elder. For me, humanity is serving to the one in need and working for the good cause and also towards the removal of evil things and aspects in the society. Humanity should come and be from within. Thank you. Quote 20. every person to be kind towards other people. A person with humanity always stands for others in their problem. Thank you. Code number 28. A very pleasant morning to one and all present here. Humanity is the very essence of human life. It is a necessity for the society and the world at large for the individuals to coexist peacefully with love and harmony. Without humanity, we can't imagine a world to live in. Thank you. Code 21. A very warm good morning to all of you present here, respected panel members and sister. Humanity is how you put smile on other face, how you get happy when others succeed. How you help other people in need when you yourself are in problem. Humanity should be within everyone that makes us a real human. Our appearance, height, size, color are just outside. Uh, I think you uh, missed one line. When uh, you put yourself in need before the humanity. Did you speak that line? Okay. Thank you participants. Till the results of the second round is in progress, we have an exciting Bollywood themed drama to cheer you all up. <laughs> drama is a specific mode of fiction represented in performance considered as a genre of poetry in general. May I now invite the girls to present the skit and entertain the audience with their amazing acting skills.
lovely ladies here all around my question to you will be if crowned as miss pwc what will be 
dignity of contribution, which is in, uh, in fact a very prestigious, and you'll be a brand ambassador for a very prestigious institution. What will be your contribution to our society as Miss PWC? Thank you, ma'am, for the question. If crowned as Miss PWC 2022, first of all, I'd be, I'd be thankful to all those who are present here and my respected judges for selecting me. After that, when I get the title, I have to live up to the title. So, first, I have to look towards the society. So, I would be looking after the poor people, like I would be representing my college. So, I have to, in a way, uh, do whatever I can to make them to help them in any way like the deprived section I can help them in their education women empowerment literacy rate I can increase and I will be doing everything on behalf of my college thank you ma'am yes. thank you so much wonderful answer thank you Shifali ma'am Hello. So my question will be to poll number 21, right? Okay, give a smile first. You are not fully dressed until you wear a smile. So my question to you is, what would be the piece of advice you will give to your peer group? Thank you for the question, ma'am. One advice that I would give to my peer group is that there should be understanding among us no matter what kind of problem we deal with there are times when we will be the competitors of each other if we participate in any competition or any kind of thing but what matters is that there is a healthy competition and how we understand each other and trust each other at last thank you so much ma'am thank you and all the best Good morning, code number 15. My question to you is, if you had to describe yourself in three words, what would they be? Good morning, sir. Thank you for the question. I would like to describe myself in three words. Sporty person, passionate and honest. Alok sir again. All right, so you are code number 13. If you get the power of a superhero, what would you do? Thank you, sir, for asking the question. If I get a power of superhero, I would obviously working towards the development of the society. I would always love to work towards the good cause of the society because we see that the condition of the society is not yet up to the mark. So if I get the power, I definitely work towards those people who are under the deprived section, who are not able to raise their voice. I would become the voice of those who cannot raise their voice. Thank you, sir. Uh, my question is to code number 8, I suppose, yeah. Um, if given a chance, with who historical personality would you like to dine with and why? Um, off the top of my mind, the uh, historical personality I would like to dine with and share my ideas with would be Rani Lakshmi. I've uh, idealized Rani Lakshmi Bai from a very young age. A woman with so much power, so fortitude, gratitude, a caring mother, a beloved wife, and still such a good representative of our nation. We need more women like this in our field. We need more women like this nowadays, and therefore I would like to dine with her to share those ideas and cultivate them in myself as well as others. Thank you. Brilliant. Indeed, a true posture of women empowerment. Thank you so much. 
Thank you, girls. You may leave now. We'll be calculating the results. Thank you. Now, before the final declaration of the results, get up yourselves for the most voted performance of the day. The Western dance as the performers are all ready to set the stage on fire.
I would like to call on stage Nish Thawats, Vice Premier, Patna Women's College, to deliver the word of thanks. Thank you. It is important to acknowledge the efforts of those who have worked hard in making this event a resounding success. Coming towards the end of the program, I, Nishtha Vats, Vice Premier, Student Council 2022, Patna Women's College, would like to propose the vote of thanks. First and foremost, I would like to thank Dr. Sister M. Rashmi A.C., Principal Patna Women's College, and Dr. Sister M. Tanisha A.C., Vice Principal Patna Women's College, for always creating an inspiring environment of learning for the students via different mediums. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to Professor Sefali Roy, Director, Public Administration, Patna University, Patna, Dr. Shalja Sinha, Head, Department of Sanskrit, Ramakrishna Dwarika College, Patliputra University, Patna, and Professor Alok John, Dean, National International Collaborations and Consultancy Services, Patna Women's College, Patna University, Patna, for gracing us with your presence and Ms. P. W. C. Contest on the event of College Day, Virasa 2022. I am grateful towards our cultural coordinators, Dr. Sister Celine Krasta AC, Head, Department of History, Ms. Amiksha Sinha, Assistant Professor, Department of Sociology, Ms. Inakshi Deviswas, Coordinator, Performing Arts, for their valuable guidance throughout. I take this opportunity to extend my heartfelt gratitude towards the sponsors of this event. Sponsors from academic field are Mind Sculpture IAS, Chanakya IAS Academy, Millennium Aviation Academy. Sponsors from Fooding and Beverages segment are Roshan's Cafe, Madras Dosa House, Bistro 57, Vavsha, Dry and Fry. Sponsor from Banking Sector is Bank of Baroda. And from Commercial segment are Riddhi Siddhi Fashion and Jewelry and Bihar Electronics. The sponsorship for DJ is also being provided. To all our sponsors, we are highly obliged and pleased to collaborate with you all. We look forward for more such collaborations in near future. I thank Ajessa, Assistant Professor, Department of Mass Communication and his team, Kamta Bhaya, and all the media person for capturing the event. I sincerely acknowledge my gratitude towards participants of Ms. PwC contest and all the participants of today's program for their hard work and putting up such a mesmerizing show. I thank Sham Bhaya, Parmeet Bhaya for sound management. I am grateful towards Daniel Bhaya, Mintu Bhaya for their consistent support. I also thank all the Didis and Bhaya for their help. I am grateful towards our audience for their humble cooperation. I profoundly acknowledge the efforts of my fellow councils toward the smooth conduct of the event. Thank you, thank you so much. The moment that we have been waiting eagerly for is finally here. It's time to crown the Miss Patna Women's College 2022. For that, may I request Ms. Samiksha Sinha ma'am to come up on stage and take over the mic to announce the results. Please, ma'am. Before that, I would like to extend my heartiest gratitude to our jury members for, I mean, this is a very difficult task and it has been, you know, a tedious job and for that, I am grateful and thank you so much. Uh, Shifali ma'am, Shalja ma'am and Alok sir. But I request you all the three to please come up on stage and there is something sweet for you. Shifali ma'am, Professor Shifali Roy, Director, Public Administration, Patna University. Dr. Shalaja Sinha, Head Department of Sanskrit, Ramakrishna Dwarika College, Patiputra University. Mr. Alok John, Dean, National International Collaborations and Consultancy Services, Patna Women's College. And I would like to request our Honorable Principal to come up on stage, please. So there's a sweet gesture to all the judges. So Shifali ma'am, please. Next, uh, Dr. Shaila Jasena, Head Department of Sanskrit, RKD College. And next is our very own Alok Sir, National International Collaborations Dean. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, the jury members. Please, we'll have a, a photo. Yes, yes, ma'am, please. 
Uh, thank you so much. It's always an honor to come to Patna Women's College, my alma mater, my workplace, and I've spent almost 26 years here, and I always look for an opportunity to come to this campus which rejuvenates me and makes me still younger. So thank you so much, young girls, teachers, my friends, my colleagues, sister, the entire institution. I'm always grateful to this institution and I'll always be. Thank you so much. Now is the most awaited moment. I request all the jury members to please be seated. I would request our Vice Principal, uh, Dr. Sister M. Tanisha AC, also to come up on stage for the crowning moment with our respected sister, <laughs> Rashmi, Principal Patna Women's College. Okay, so we'll start with the second runner-up. The second runner-up is code number 15, Shambhavi Kashyap.
much everyone for making this event a huge success. It was indeed a day full of joy and entertainment and heartiest congratulations to all the winners.